epoxidation of alkenes here also we are going to discuss mechanism of this reaction and its stereochemistry so how alkene is converted into epoxide ethylene oxide or it is also called oxyrene by using a peroxy acid so this is peroxy acid you can see here peroxide linkage oo linkage is there in this acid so this is peroxy acid is used for this oxidation now see the mechanism is shown here you have to listen you have to watch this mechanism carefully now see uh, you have to write this peroxy acid like this terminal oh uh, which will come close to the carbon carbon double bond of the alkene now see what happens this pi lone pair of electron is actually forming bond between this oxygen and carbon so you have to start with this lone pair and you have to move this pi bond to join another to form another bond between oxygen and carbon that means this bond is formed from this lone pair and this bond is formed from this pi bond with this oxygen because our product is oxyrene ethylene oxide now what to do with this hydrogen this hydrogen is going to join with this oxygen which is double bonded by using this pi bond by using this pi bond so actually this is pi bond and this oxygen oxygen bond which is very weak is going to break so this bond is now moving in between this carbon and oxygen means this bond so we get here carboxylic acid and there here epoxide now you can see here it is a cyclic molecule where one bond is lying above the plane this bond and another bond is lying below the plane so actually all these three bonds three carbons are in one plane so one bond is actually projecting from this side and another bond is projecting from this side now if you understand this mechanism carefully you can predict the stereochemistry accurately now see this is the molecule i have taken two molecules here one is cis 2 butene and another is trans 2 butene you can take another example no problem you will get the same stereochemistry whatever structure is given there so this is actually these are two carbon carbon double bonds uh, double bonded carbon which are planar trigonal planar geometry because of sp2 hybridization now similar uh, peroxy acid uh, you can you can use here and our product is what you have to remove just double bond one pi bond and join here oxygen join here oxygen this oxygen here and remove this double bond now what happens once this cycle is formed you have to show one 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 bond as by using a broken wedge that means it is lying behind the plane and one bond by using a solid wedge uh, it is actually projecting above this board above the plane now nothing is happen uh, these groups are not actually changing their positions so you have to keep their positions as it is so h will uh, go that side behind the plane this h will go that side behind the plane and cs3 will project above the plane so this is a situation where similar groups are actually lying above the plane means toward the same side so this is cis so cis gives cis epoxide now if if i use trans i get a trans epoxide where similar groups are toward opposite side one is down and another is above the plane so trans gives trans so this reaction is a stereo specific reaction you have to remember cis alkene gives cis epoxide and trans alkene gives trans epoxide so this is all about epoxidation of alkenes thank you